the oddest thing to happen today is for the last 30 40 miles I've been hearing a intermittent hiss very high pitch very loud sounded like air probably an air leak is what I was thinking and but it's intermittent so I'm thinking I got lots of air pressure I got brakes I got no problems so I just kind of like well I'll check it uh, you know next time I stop and the next time I stopped I got out and I heard the hissing and I looked uh, I'd stopped behind a lady in an airstream and I looked uh, interesting story in itself um, but I looked at the bus I said uh, is that me hissing and she looked up in the the I said, uh, is that me or is that, is that something else? That crickets? And she says, okay, it is. I was like, ah, that makes sense. Something you don't hear very often. But every seven years, 11 years, 14 years, I can't remember. Anyway, there uh, when I'll stop in, uh, in a bit and you can hear how loud they are. Unbelievably loud. I've forgotten how loud they are. And they're in sections. It's extremely loud. So not sure if you can hear the cicadas. But it's an odd noise that your ears are totally not used to, or at least mine are not. On top of Bull Pasture Mountain, I think uh, Bull Pasture River is going to be on the other side. But I just wanted to give you a taste of the cicadas. Kind of almost drowned out by the wind here. But to hear this going down the road is just, is just really odd and frightening when you have uh, air brakes because that's what it sounds like you got leaking air significant leaking air my search for perfection I may have found it in Forest Road 27B maybe you'll see it when I get up here it's even got a stop sign <laughs> Well, I'm very excited. Had to uh, go check the thing out before I rolled up in there because I didn't know if I had enough clearance, didn't know if I could uh, back out, turn around, and I can do all the above. So, this looks like my spot. Looks and feels a whole lot like uh, perfection to me. I mean, it's uh, we're sitting here at the end of a road. There's a gate behind this... Uh, behind the bus here so I don't expect anybody to be coming and going up here um, there's a nice little grove of spruce behind me and what's left of a fire ring I'm gonna move down here into this little pit and uh, um, chop up some uh, some uh, split of uh, split some wood I found on the side of the road um, when I was uh, shooting that uh, Cicada video. <laughs> There's no real way to capture the essence of uh, what this is like. The only thing I can do is is show some pictures and try to create a picture with words. And uh, this, to me, is this is perfection because the only thing that I hear is the wind and birds. And I just don't think it gets any better than this. You know, a, a, maybe like a, a 20 mile view might be nice over here, but this is nice. I mean, I don't have to see 20 miles. I can see 200 feet in several directions and it's beautiful and serene and peaceful and so relaxing. And this is exactly what I'm looking for when I go into the woods. I want isolation not critical but I don't want people 10 feet away from me I don't I want screaming kids and barking dogs and you know televisions and radios and generators I don't want to hear everybody else's shit I want to be alone in nature and this is getting harder to find um, so I think my next step is you know park the bus somewhere for a week or two and get on the motorcycle and go as far away from people and noises uh, civilization as I can and that's probably going to be my quest here in the next few 
weeks, months, is uh, go away, far away. And I don't, really don't think it has to be that far. I think just, you know, 10, 20 miles away from a road in some places is enough to get you away from the noises. But, you know, to, to, to get away from the freaking Harley Parade, you know, those loud freaking pipes that you can hear from 20 miles away, you got to go pretty deep, and you got to go away from the roads that I love. Maybe it's just going down dirt, far enough down dirt where I don't have to hear it. Or going far enough into the windy woods that it's drowned out by rustling leaves. So this was a surprise. I thought this was just a tank trap, but uh, obviously it's a little bit of a forest service engineering. I'm about quarter to a half mile above Camp Perfection. I'm going to find a little bridge. Let's check out. It's a little bit shaky, but the uh, the consequences are not that great. <laughs> I wonder what those little lumps are down there. Almost looks like fruit or some kind of fungus. Yeah, back down that way is Camp Perfection. All right. Continuing on for another 20 minutes that way. I won't have any problem getting back to, down to camp before it gets dark because I don't have a flashlight or anything. Oh, this is pretty cool. The road opens up up here. Another unexpected surprise. We're at about 4,000 feet, I think. I guess you never know what you're going to find until you walk through the woods. I'm usually blazing through the woods so fast, I miss a lot of stuff. I probably should get that bike out tomorrow, see how far I can pedal up here. Nice little trail, fairly well maintained for a trail to the creek, but uh, perfect for me, not too long, not too short, interesting river. I think that was the cow pasture maybe, the cow pasture river. I'll find out when I get uh, internet at least. Here. Testing out my ankle today, trying to find out what my range is. I'm a little bit cautious. I don't want to be five miles from camp and my ankle locks up, so I'm going to be cautious and uh, conservative until I know what I'm capable of on this crappy, worn out, busted up ankle. And my knees are not in that good of shape either, so. But my knees rarely lock up my ankle. It really scared me. It's kind of almost incapacitated. Extremely painful to move, much less walk.
Got a bit of a sprinkle here. Hopefully this uh, tree will hold up while it's uh, doing this thing. If not, I got some rain gear and I got to tuck the camera away. So. But I was kind of expected to do uh, on and off showers today. Hopefully it's mainly off. Not that I mind rain, just kind of makes it hard to do some stuff, like film and have a nice fire. I'm sure the fire will be out by the time I get back, but anyway, we'll see. Been a perfect day for hiking. Perfect. Overcast, mostly windy, cool, perfect. Day two at Camp Perfection. And the only issues I've run into is fucking horse flies. One bit me on my hike above my uh, eyebrow. I didn't think anything about it. Got back, got bit by another one, I think, under the ear. Anyway, fucking horse flies, man. They just hit you and just start chewing. But um, about an hour ago, I noticed my eyelid drooping and I thought, oh shit. I got some, either guy I got something in my eye or I'm having a stroke. <laughs> and then I felt my eyelid, it's all puffy, my damn, uh, it's like I've been in a fight or something. I don't know if you can see it, but it's, cut me Mick. 